Oh, I'm too old for this weight training lock, you know? So this is something I hear a lot. I, I, I see patients and I, as a physio, try to get them to do some strength training for injury and for injury prevention. And we know that it's very good for all this sort of stuff. It helps with bone density, muscle mass, strength, function, you know, uh, lifespan. You know, there's so many things that it helps with. Um, and obviously, as we get older, we potentially decline in some of these areas. Um, but is that decline down to this approach, the self-fulfilling prophecy? You know, people who go, well, you know, I'm getting niggles or I'm, you know, getting injured or I've got, you know, uh, you know, aches and pains, which are normal as you get older or whatever, and I'm going to stop doing stuff. Well, or is it more because biologically things change? Now, we know that there must be biological changes, but is it? all because of that. So they did a study, uh, well, they did a couple of studies where they looked at some of these things to do with age-related abilities with regards muscle, strength, so on and so forth. And it was really quite interesting reading. So the first one, they did a study on 18 to 39 year olds. So obviously not like old age, but certainly getting towards middle age. And people certainly would say, oh, 39, you know, ooh, yeah, you know, you're gonna be declining at that point with regards to this type of stuff. But what did they find? So they found no correlation in these between these age groups, between the rate of muscle growth and also with one rep max strength. The only exception, because they looked at a few different strengths, was a one rep max bicep curl, which was tiny difference in you know decline, but certainly nothing to write home about. And it shows you that you can build just as much muscle and just as much strength based on this research study if you work at it and you believe in it more likely uh, between 18 and 39 years of age and you know you said to me would I believe in this I'd be like absolutely because I didn't start training optimally for um, you know training for muscle strength and all this sort of stuff until I probably was maybe mid 30s and guess what happened started to grow muscle what I did on previous, I trained, but I hadn't trained as optimally. I improved the way I trained. I got more scientific in the way that I approached things and I started to gain muscle. And I would say even the last you know, couple of years, and I'm now 38 years old, um, and the reality is, is that, yeah, I would say I probably still have built a little bit of muscle. Certainly haven't lost any and certainly haven't uh, declined in, 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 in years, in these later years. So. Now, obviously beyond this point is, is unknown from this study, but it shows you that if you put the work in, you can get just as strong and develop muscle strength as quickly and easily as an 18 year old, obviously outside of newbie gains, of course, and uh, the same for, for, for muscle building as well. So that was that particular study. Now the other study, so they looked at 40 year olds to 81 year olds. Now in general population studies who are specifically training to build muscle and strength, we see an age-related decline in these kind of age groups uh, to do with strength and muscle size and everything else. You don't see many 80-year-old 80, 80 men and you think, God, they're jacked, you know, you just don't see that. And that, but that is that cultural as well, is the, you know, I grew up, I went to the gym for the first time when I was about 16 and I've never really stopped going since because that's how it was when I was that age. But if you took an 80 year old now and you went back to their 16 year old uh, age, uh, the gym, what's that? People don't go to the gym. Only certain people went to the gym. It wasn't mainstream like it is now. So that means that when they're 80 at this point, they're not really into the gym. It never became part of their lifestyle. Whereas mine, guess what? 80, I'm in the gym, still there. It's gonna be very different going forwards than it is right now for 80 year olds. So if you look at the age-related decline, it's possibly down to this phenomenon more than it is the actual sarcopenia from a biological perspective. So to kind of get around this, they looked at masters athletes. So these are people who are older, but are training. So they have that ingrained uh, culture, if you like, to be training hard, training well, and really pushing the boundaries of what their body at that age can actually do. Now, they didn't look at the ability to build muscle because these were masters athletes, so they've been athletes for their entire lives, most likely. This was about retention of muscle and the retention of strength. And guess what they found? Between the ages of 40 and 81, yes, in that age, they found no significant decline if they kept exercising. We already know that maintaining muscle and strength is a lot easier than gaining it. And therefore, as long as you keep going, you maintain strength 
and you maintain muscle mass really, really well, even up to 81 years of age from 40. So this is quite interesting and actually is more confirmation for me to say, well, keep going to the gym, don't stop. You know, don't say I'm too old for it. Keep going and keep going and keep going. It will keep you fit, it will keep you healthy, it will keep you alive because people basically uh, usually die from pneumonia, chest related issues. Obviously now with this uh, virus going around, obviously there's a lot of things towards this as well. And the reality is being active is really important for this. It keeps your chest clear. So you wouldn't necessarily know this, but the biggest issue that people when they're elderly have is getting out of a chair. If you can get them out of a chair or they can get themselves out of a chair, they can walk. Right, so walking is activity that's gonna keep their chest clear. But the limiting factor is not walking, the limiting factor is squatting, getting out of a chair is a squat basically. So if they're strong, they can get out of a chair, they can walk, they can stay active. If they can't get out of a chair, they rely on someone else to help them out of a chair and their activity level plunges and therefore their chance of chest infections, pneumonia and death increases. So in reality, it is linked to life and death. Being strong is really important, particularly as you get older. So don't stop, you can maintain it. Don't decline what you're doing. And you never know, this study stopped at 81. How do we know it doesn't continue indefinitely to 90, to 100, who knows, you know? But it's really interesting and it's fascinating thinking for the future. I think we're gonna see in the future gyms in 30, 40, 50 years time, packed full of all age ranges, all the way to 100 year olds, and there's gonna be just as much as them as there is 20 year olds. It'll be really interesting to see, but I do believe that's gonna happen because they'll have grown up with that culture. So anyway, that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.